Yeah, so good evening, everybody. Good evening. So tonight is one of Princess's formal nights. Fancy. So very fancy. Fancy. Yeah, so this is our first time experiencing a formal night on one of the Princess cruises. Yeah. So we're looking forward to putting our glad rags on and dancing the night away. Nah. No, we won't be nah. eating the night away. Yeah. Yeah, should yeah. I say, with hopefully some tasty food. Fingers crossed, because <laughs> the food so far in the main dining room has been delicious. Yeah. So I'm hoping. Oh, this is impressive all bad. on formal nights. Yes. So uh, we are booked in for the Skagaway main dining room. We mm -hmm. pre-booked this before we came on board. We pre-booked all our meals before we came on board on the app, which is yes. very good. So uh, we haven't got to worry about that. I'm sure you could still go down without a booking. Um, yeah. And just ask for a seat. You might have to come back. They might give you a time, but I'm sure that's fine. We will let you know about that actually, because yes. the time that we have booked also can conflicts with um the yes. captain's uh the captain Champagne comes out, reception or something like that it's called yes um we're gonna catch a little bit of that yeah because we are it didn't come up at the, when we booked our time beforehand so before you come on the cruise just check the uh, journey activities uh yes and if the you majority see it, of things comes up but it changes slightly yes because what we'll let you know is we're booked to eat at 6 40 and yes. the captain's reception is 6 30 so we're going to go past our time to go down and eat now it won't let us change it on the app it won't no. let us adjust it because uh, the ship's pretty yeah full. so we will let you know how long we've got to wait if we do go down a little bit after the time yes. just in case you haven't got a time boot and you know what to what the waiting time could be expected to be. Yes, but we're not looking very formal. No, we can't wear t-shirts and jumpers no. to formal night, can we now? So, we'll see you in a minute once we have got glammed up. <laughs> see you in six hours. I'm only kidding, five minutes. Two seconds on here. <laughs> And just like that, we're back. And if there you we see go. us swaying slightly, the ship is a little bit uh, rocky. Yes. <laughs> so we're... Hence why we're very hungry. and Because yes. we've, we've only had a little bit of breakfast today. We didn't really feel like eating much because it has been a bit rocky. Yeah, which you may not be used to us <laughs> not eating much in a day on one of these cruises. I know, yeah. Are we okay? <laughs> we weren't earlier. But uh, yeah, so we're going to head down there now, try to get a good spot for the Captain Champagne reception in the Piazza. Yeah. So, uh, and then... Hopefully he's not waffling on too long because I do want some food. And if he carries on rocking, oh well. We're sailing to Alaska, so can't complain, eh? No. Right, so we've just come down now. They are setting up the champagne pyramid. Yeah, where, wherever it is. They are a lot braver than me because with this ship's rocking, I'm surprised they're that high. Could you imagine if you were the one now that was setting it up and it all came crashing down? You'd be absolutely mortified, wouldn't you? I'd help them clear it up. They are doing professional photos, so if you did like that kind of thing, because the photo gallery is just over there. I know they do some offers, so maybe if that's your thing, you could always uh, have your photos done. Or just do what we're doing and do your own photos or get somebody to take one for you. <laughs> Here he comes with the drinks. Two ginger ales. They're just pouring the champagne now into oh. the glass. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shaky you times. Go I'll definitely knock that over. Oh! He's just had to go round and put grapes. We're guessing the grapes from here. I'm, not, I'm sure they're not olives. But he's had to go round and put grapes in every glass, and we were like, oh, don't knock it. Please welcome to the piazza your Discovery Princess Dancer!
in just 20 minutes here in the piazza, where we have our captain and senior officers on board Discovery Princess. You'll be able to meet the who's who on board. So grab a glass of champagne and enjoy the evening. From the United Kingdom, please welcome Captain Chuck. one of the, the best like captain's uh, speeches we've ever seen they, they, they do it good on this ship sometimes we haven't had them at all on no. some ships <clears throat> but yeah that was really good we even managed to get stacy a photo with the captain okay, it was a little bit blurry somebody was uh, nudging me i'll try and fix it as much as i can all right so the menu's here i'll put a picture on now so you can see kind of what kind of uh, formal evening food we have the bread's come I'm, uh, I'm a little bit concerned because there's five pieces and there's only two of us, so... I like that they just bring you the basket instead of coming with the big bowl and saying, what do you want? And you have to be like, one of them, one of them. So at least but they just bring you a basket. who's having this extra roll? Now, they were very kind and let us in late. We should have been here 6.40. It was probably about quarter past seven by the time we got here after the captain's speech. We did say we didn't mind if we had to queue up outside without a reservation. Yeah, she very kindly let us in anyway. As we said at the beginning, we made these reservation times before we even came on the holiday because you're able to do that with Princess, but we will do an app video on that explaining the whole process. So if you waited to get on the ship, then like us, we wanted to change the time and we couldn't. So like Kev said, you'd have to come down here and you'd have to queue and you just have to wait for when you can come in. And it wasn't because we couldn't change it because we were on the ship. It's we couldn't change it because the ship has fallen, all the reservations booked out. Yeah, so it's like this. Make your time and stick to it. Or if for whatever reason like us, your time changes, just be, be prepared that you might have to wait. Yeah, because there is two queues, one with reservations, one without. One without, yeah. But anyway, onto the bread. <laughs> So just quickly, because a lot of you do ask us on these kind of formal gala nights, how many people are dressed up and how many aren't? So I'd say more are not dressed up on this cruise than are dressed up. But don't forget, we've had to, a lot of people have had to fly for this cruise. So like maybe 
we packed it. If I knew I could just come in in a shirt and say me chinos, I wouldn't have bothered just because coming to Alaska, it's coats and jumpers and hoodies take up a lot of room and a lot of weight. So you can bear that in mind. You could risk it maybe coming in in a shirt and chinos. It's hard because you did email Princess I before did. you come and they did say all men have to wear a suit, but which is, the majority of are on. Yeah, which is what it does say on their website. Suits or jackets and uh, a tie. So. so just do what you're most comfortable with. If you want dress up, dress yeah. up, but don't feel like if you don't want to. That there is like people in the main restaurant now but, not dressed up to the nines. No, but they're obviously not going to let you come in in jogging bottoms and shorts. No. <laughs> so long as you come with a shirt, maybe Dress a nice up to pole. a certain standard. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> right, so the starters are here. We've each gone for the Alaskan crab cake. And then Kev also wanted to try the duck as well. So that, remember, you can have as much as you want. Yes. I mean, as long as you eat it. I'm that excited. I'm dropping my knife and fork. <laughs> yeah, so I'll try the Alaskan crab cake quick. Oh. We have to have that one. We were going to Alaska, right? Of course, of course. And it comes with spicy remoulade. Mm. Do you want it to be like? It's like a posh fish and chip shop fish cake. So it's tasty like. Oh, she loves like fish cakes from the chip shop. And then I'll try the black pepper smoked duck breast quickly. It looks like quite good chunks of uh, duck breast actually, because I remember when we were on the PO and I had the duck breast. It was really thin. This is big chunks of duck breast. It's a bit like duck pastrami. It's like really nice. Oh, can I have some more bread? I've eaten all my bread. I would have made a sandwich with that. Right, so what did you think it came with, Stace? I said, oh, it comes with a potato wedge. It's a slice of lemon. Lemon, fish, dear, I forgot. As usual, three empty plates. The duck was really nice. That was absolutely delicious. Now, I'm not going to be too premature about it, but so far, I think this might be my favourite gala evening of any shit we've been on so far and we haven't even watched tonight's entertainment show yet but so far I'll let you know at the end if that's still true but I think it will be right so the mains are here I've gone for as we are once again going to Alaska the Alaskan court halibut with a prosciutto and some lemon mashed potatoes Stacey wanted fries I'm not having any of them you little liar <laughs> and I've gone for the beef tenderloin oh thank you <laughs> it's just saying bon appetit <laughs> so I've gone for the beef tenderloin with cognac and peppercorn sauce and scalloped potatoes with veg and crispy onions Whew, have a drink after all that hang on a sec right so already my knife just glides through that it does seem really tender let me scoop up some of the uh, sauce with it that is so nice, so soft and tender. Yeah, so I do really like the sauce. You can taste the cognac in it a little bit. It's got like a brandy taste to it. And you can, you can taste the peppercorns. All right, so I'll try this halibut, which compared to Stacey's is quite small. So I might have a couple of these fries just to balance it out a little bit. The mashed potatoes are really nice with it because they're like a lemon mashed potato. So it's nice with the fish. It's slightly overcooked. But that just personal preference. Some people like it a bit drier. So I've gone from Alaskan court crab to Alaskan court halibut and some fries. And then there's also baked Alaska on the dessert menu. Are you gonna go for like the, the trio? I'm not sure. Mm, there was another thing I was kinda eyeing up. We'll see, we haven't ordered those yet. You've got to go for the trio of Alaskan goodness. Maybe. Right, so we ate everything. We even ate the plates themselves. <laughs> I, I could have done, yeah, that was absolutely delicious. So he's just come and give us a dessert menu now. It's really, really good service, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's that we've been had, really yeah. friendly. Everyone's really, really nice. Really, really nice. And we were just speaking to the waiter guy, and he was just saying he's been away from his family for five months already and he's got another four months to do. So nine months in total they're away from the family. It's such so, a long time. Yes, be nice to these uh, crew members because yeah, they work very hard to keep us happy. So be nice to them. Pudding time, what to pick, what to pick. I think Stacey's kind of cornered me into the big Alaska really. I don't think I've got much of a choice on this one. Yeah, I told you what you were having. You've, got to, go for this. You've got to go for the Alaskan trio, Kev. No, you but, haven't got to if you don't want. Well, I was being greedy and I was thinking this, but then I could always have both if I wanted. 
desserts are here. I've gone for the creme brulee and it's got a couple of lemon madelines on top. Madelines. And then Kev's gone, he went for the baked Alaska. Yeah, I had to, I had to. Um, it came with chocolate sauce and he came and he, he poured it out over it. I recorded him so I'll put the clip on now. So it doesn't come out with chocolate sauce. So if you didn't want it, you don't have to have it. Because it was an ice pristine glacier and now it's had an oil spill. So yeah, it's a gelato baked Alaska. Looks like it's got chocolate gelato inside it. Get plenty of that sauce on. Ready? Just like an ice cream covered in marshmallow fluff and loads of chocolate sauce. So can't go wrong with that really. Because I don't like, I don't like crispy meringue. I think it's no. horrible. So, well, well, I like that if it's soft then. Yeah, it's just like marshmallow fluff. It's not like a meringue nest, you know, when no, it's like no, crunchy. No, no, it's, it's yeah. just slightly blowtorched on top, that's all. Well, I'm going to try some of Kev's baked Alaska. Eh? I've gone for the creme brulee. It was a vanilla bean creme brulee. Oh, look at like the crispy glaze on top though. The custard is really, really nice. I love the top of it with like the crispy sugar on top. Oh, that, I could eat another one of them. That's my favourite dessert on a ship so far. Yeah, so Kev's let me try some because I can't sail to Alaska and not say I haven't tried some baked Alaska. So here we go. So yeah, like Kev said, it's not that crispy meringue. It's just like the marshmallow fluff yeah. it, that you can buy. Oh, I really like that. I still prefer my creme brulee, but I do like the baked Alaska. Everything's polished off. Absolutely delicious. I am a bit full. Could do with a lie down. We haven't got time because we best go watch the rock opera in the Princess Theatre now. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah, really, really. Just fantastic, fantastic singing and dancing. Yeah, yeah. Just, I really love that. Yeah. And so if he says he likes you, then it must be good. It was You're good. a bit fussy with musicals and things. Yeah, and yeah, singing. yeah. No, it was brilliant. <laughs> uh, we're not 100% sure where we're going to go now. We're going to try to go to Jazz Bar. Yeah. And just see what's on there. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty, so <laughs> oh, Jazz Bar. Sorry, the ship's rocking still. I'm a sheer drink. <laughs> right, so we've just managed to get seats in Cape Five Bar and we've got right in front of where they're going to be playing so really good seats there yeah we're just trying to uh, get a drink we're just having a look what non-alcoholic cocktail we fancy tonight yeah so you can just get the drinks when you're up on the app yeah stacy might have the one with chili in again that burnt her mouth the other day spicy <laughs> done in the jazz bar. I know two things about jazz. One is Ron Burgundy's jazz flute. Let's go. And the other is the guy from uh, the fast show that goes nice. Nice.
that's all I know about jazz. <laughs> it was very nice though. The it was very nice bar. Take five was it called? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a nice, it was little, a nice bar. little bar. And I think they said the jazz was on every night. Yes, it is yeah. on our cruise. It is anyway. the jazz bar. So. Oh, and just a quick tip about the entertainment in the Princess Theatre that we forgot mention before. So they have two showings a night, a yes. seven thirty and a nine thirty. Now you can book these on the app yep. before you come on the cruise or during the cruise, and. I will say that when you book it, you're not technically booking your entry into there because nobody checks it as you well, go through. they haven't been through. with us yet. So. No, no one's been checking it. I think it's just more like a bookmark that if before you cruise you want to look and think, what am I doing on the Tuesday? Oh, I'm attending yeah. this, this, this and this. I don't think it's your place in the theatre. It doesn't seem that way. It doesn't seem that way, yeah. Because I know on other cruise ships we've been on, you've booked a time slot and then they've scanned it yeah. as you're going in to make sure if it changes booked. yeah we'll put it on now if it, that has happened but if not we'll i, we I think put i think <laughs> what it literally is to yeah. just because the ship is full and they still aren't checking no. that you've booked it so i literally think it is yeah. to bookmark that you want to attend there that's yeah. all yeah but uh all done really yeah. enjoyed the night yeah really really fantastic had a really really good evening yeah. amazing Been really good so the stuff still going on it doesn't go on too late i think it finishes 12 and it's not far off that I now think, yeah i think the only thing that's on now is just a disco for about 40 minutes yeah. in one of the other bars Nothing but we, much. we've got to be up early tomorrow yeah. so, so we're, we're gonna yeah. leave you yes so as always thanks for watching guys leave us a comment yes like and subscribe <laughs> as well while you're at it because mm -hmm. you might as well but other than that we're gonna call it tonight definitely so we'll see you later guys get this itchy dress <laughs> off <laughs> we'll see you later guys bye, bye.